So I absolutely love this movie. It was so fun. Yes. So cheerful, so cute. Definitely a holiday movie. So what was the atmosphere like on set filming this? I mean, we we felt like we were celebrating Christmas in March in Vancouver. <laughs> yeah, it was very jolly, lots of Christmas music. Uh, everyone just had a great time and uh, yeah, I think that comes out in the performances to be honest because we're all in such like great spirit shooting the movie and I think it comes across, I hope, on screen. We were tired for sure. I mean, we had like a six day work week, which was pretty intense, but yeah, it was just, it was really fun. Yeah, I feel like there's something wrong with you if you do a Christmas movie and you're not in a jolly mood. <laughs> totally. Uh, so yeah, we were hopefully in a jolly mood. And then you both are from Disney Channel, so I guess you guys have maybe crossed paths, a uh, pass in the past. So what did you? What was your reaction when you found out you're working together? First of all, I love paths in the past. I want to say that that's that's a great. Um, you know, we we he was kind of a little bit. Um, Wizards was a little bit before Austin Alley, like mm -hmm. right before. Um, so we had seen each other before, but I remember really meeting you at the Seventeen Mexico magazine cover. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was like, Greg's the best. Greg's awesome. And we kind of saw each other every once in a while. Yeah, it's LA, you know, it's Hollywood. So you, you always see each other like at events or through work events. Uh, but when I found out that Laura was doing the movie uh, and then they asked me to do it, I just, uh, you know, try to get out of it. Um, no, I, I was, I, Laura has the best reputation around town and uh, I also know her sister. I did a movie with Vanessa. You were actually really hoping Vanessa was doing the movie. I thought, I like... thought it said Miss Morano was doing the movie and I assumed <laughs> it was Vanessa and then I turned up, it was Laura. So, you so, know, I'd already signed the contract at that point. So there was no getting out of it. See, for me, I was so excited because I love Greg and, um, you know, obviously this is really hurtful to hear all this information <laughs> right now. No, but seriously, like I have never worked with Greg before and he has an amazing reputation I know how talented he is and I know like just he's a good person which is really hard to find someone who's talented and just good um, so I was so excited that when I heard you were doing the movie I was like yes I called you up I was like Greg yes this is amazing yeah and it's beautiful in the sense that you work 14 hours a day with someone uh, especially on a movie like this where you know the movie is sort of like I mean, carried by Laura, but but our relationship on screen is so important. It's yeah, it's definitely the whole team for sure. But you know, it is that sort of. I hope we get on, and thankfully, we did. Um, then Greg, this is your first time singing and dancing in a movie. It is my first time singing and dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Rocked it. How did you feel when you first found out? Were you nervous? Like, how did the preparation go? Uh, I was definitely nervous. Uh, they told me a couple days ahead of time that I was going in to record a song, which I've never done in my life. <laughs> Uh, it was very foreign to me to put on some headphones and warm up my vocal cords. And, and do it in an American accent. Like, people forget you also had to sing in an accent that wasn't yours. Yeah, well, yeah, I've never sung before, I've never sung in, in an accent before. So the whole thing was very, very uh, strange and unusual. Uh, but I would say it was a lot of fun. And you've got to challenge yourself in life. And I definitely think that... Um, it was, it, overall, it was a good, it, I'm, I'm happy I did it. He was such an amazing sport. Like, you know, he literally has never done any of it before. Um, and so they were like, can you record? Can you dance? Can you do all these things? And he's like, I'll try. <laughs> I'll do my best. And you killed it. Like, the dancing killed. Thank you. The dancing was a lot of fun. Uh, Laura was a lot more on beat than I was. So uh, hopefully our director, Michelle, uh, went in for a lot of close-ups <laughs> uh, and didn't go towards, you know, a wide shot and to see my feet kind of behind Laura's. But uh, yeah, it was it was, it was was a good time. And then do you give him any tips? Like, did he ask for anybody? He did, he kept, he you kept asking and he also was like, um, he kept wanting to rehearse, which I love rehearsing all the time. Um, but I felt like you were rocking it. Like you really were. Um, the big dance number, I mean, we obviously have one um, thing at the, in the duet that's was tough for me too when you know not to give it away but I'm doing kind of some stunts um, but the vignette before that is kind of the real dancing like we literally have like a whole dance situation and so we had to do that rehearsing like so many times and I think getting in the mode getting in the beat getting in everything took a second but then you killed it you were so good on set Laura's being very polite the reason why we had to do it so many times is because I literally couldn't keep up with Laura no that's that's, that's, that's the only reason totally not true so obviously Christmas is coming up so do you guys have any Christmas wishes uh, yeah, you know, I would love to go to Hawaii. <laughs> that I really kind of just want to have um, a vacation. That would be amazing. Um, and I love winter and I love snow, but there's just something about 
maybe being on a beach soon that would make me super happy i don't know maybe i'm maybe i'm weird in this right now no it's 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 lovely that sounds uh, you just delightful. came back from like an italian vacation I, yeah so. I, I personally i know this sounds like this is very sort of different but i do think that i do have a responsibility as an actor and as an actor with a platform and so i do my wish honestly that i see on a daily basis is constant hate on social media not towards me but to other people uh, and it blows my mind, it's really sad, it's very saddening, and I wish that people were a lot more positive on social media and nicer to uh, each other. I well, think it would go a long he way. got so deep and so great, and I was so sad. Hawaii so still sounds nice. I mean... Hawaii and being nice on social wish. media would be two <laughs> great Christmas wishes. Two great things. This movie is obviously a Christmas story, but it's also a love story. So what are your guys' best like romantic holiday memories? Do you have any? Ooh. Ooh. This is Love this a bit is of romance. <laughs> a little holiday romance. Do you have any uh, lovely stories, Dora? Um, uh, no, you go first. Oh, now you're really putting me on the spot. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, I would say I just came back from, well, it's not really a holiday, meaning holiday like Christmas holiday? Yeah, Christmas holiday. Or, I mean, any holiday. Um, uh, it's tough <laughs> for me because I always spend Christmas with my mum and dad. Mm -hmm. uh, and I always go back to London. And so, in my life, all my relationships have been uh, with American girls. And so, they are with their family over Christmas. And so, a lot of the time, it's a lot of FaceTime. It's like, oh, hey, Merry Christmas. Uh, and yeah, I don't actually spend time with them physically in, uh, over Christmas. You know what? I would absolutely love to merge the families, but... We're getting very intense. Michelle uh, just watches us being like, whoa, how, uh, answer that, Greg. What, what I, do you think? I mean, I, you know, if two families would want to spend Christmas together... That'd be great. I'd, That's I'd a be, dream. I'd be more than happy to do so. It's just a matter of, you know, London to LA's. It's a long flight. <laughs> it's tough. No, that's tough. I relate super hard. Okay, not something on um, Christmas, but in the Christmas holiday. Um, this isn't that romantic, but I thought it was romantic. Um, we... <laughs> the Greatest Showman was coming out, and so we watched The Greatest Showman together in like the best theater ever, and um, sang a bunch of Greatest Showman after. Um, and I, there's something about Greatest Showman that feels very holiday because it came out in December, like two years ago. That's for sounds lovely. Yeah, was it a nice theater. It was a lovely theater. Okay. It was you know the home Sinopolis. theater or was it an actual theater? Well, okay, it would be more romantic if it was a home theater, but it wasn't. It was, oh. You know, Sinopolis, the like. The, where they like the chairs become, yes, yes. and then they like serve you oh, lovely. milkshakes. You did it right. Ah, it was, that is the epitome <laughs> of romance. I agree, I agree. I <laughs> Let love me tell you. Day where you just chow down. Yes, we shared a milkshake. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. Great. I felt like we were in the 50s. That's very nice.